I'm so excited. Our lifestyle guru, it's Jeanette, you and everyone. I'm so happy when you come you bring all of this. <laughs> Look at the spread. We want to talk about pop-up entertaining. So we oh, we're hearing about pop-up restaurants and pop-up shops all over the place, but by pop-up entertaining, you mean when people just come to your house and they just drop by unexpectedly. It's the drop-in or it's say the kids win the soccer game and your husband goes and says, "Well, everyone come on over for a drink and ice cream." <laughs> and, and you're, you're sitting staring there going, lasers and mm -hmm, daggers into mm -hmm. his head. So we're going to make it chic and call it the pop-up party. I've been to one actually in Detroit recently. Yeah and one in Vancouver and it was really cool and it was sort of last minute the organizer had a lot of fun with it. So I want to bring the fun and remove the stress from it. Yeah, make it less fussy and fun because you live in a very cool neighborhood where people actually do that. And it's been many years since people have actually been doing that, just dropping by unless you live in a small town. My neighborhood is very similar to that. And so it has to be stress free. It does. And we're getting, I get that a lot now. The knock at the door. Hi. Oh, great to see you. And just, so. they just stay, right? Yeah. So but there's a, a nice few tricks thing. that can make it really easy. Okay. So what do you got for us? What do you think we need to have prepared and on hand? Well, I know we had some audience uh, concerns, and one of them was the yeah, first one. Yeah, there's I think. a few of them, and I agree with all of them. So your fear, it turns out, is that someone is going to drop by and your house is not clean. Of course it's not clean. Your house is not clean. There is not enough food or, God forbid, alcohol to feed everyone. We're not talking about the neighborhood kids, but the neighbors. <laughs> or, and if it's my house, you're dressed in sweats. I will add without a bra. And there are people at your door. Has happened to me before too. So yes. we're gonna knock these off one by one and have a lot of fun. Okay. So first, cleaning. Don't overstress it. If there's clutter lying around, scoop it up and hide it. Stuff it in the kids' closet, <laughs> put it in the laundry basket. I'm not lying. Go quick. Next, look for a great cleaner that is a disinfectant. It smells great and it's easy to use. This is one of my new favorite products. Just picked this up last night from Loblaws actually. It's the okay. Windex Touch Up Cleaner and you just dab it and just wipe. So you can do it really quickly and you can have it out, which is great, which means that when you get back, you say, hubby, thanks for inviting everyone, you go. Just yeah. dust all your surfaces. <laughs> Don't worry about doing a thorough clean. People aren't gonna notice dust bunnies under sofas. They're gonna notice coffee stain rings. They're gonna notice right. toothpaste scooped in the bathroom. So just hit those target areas. Do the sink, sweep the floor, do the tables. And then you're done. Okay, distract at the door, hubby does the cleaning. Exactly. Perfect. Next, you can also be a little bit prepared. I pack party kits and keep them in little bins. So this is themed for a red party. Oh, that's so smart. So here I've got paper plates, napkins, all color coordinated. I did a green one. I keep birthday candles and stuff in there in case it's someone's birthday. Smart. This one here is full of games and fun stuff. So really simple and you can tuck those in the cupboard. Okay, so you always have them on hand, so you have a little bit of entertaining going on. What about food? To me, food is the biggest nightmare, because I don't want anyone to come over and I can't feed you. Okay, here's a couple ones. First, bake a bunch of hors d'oeuvres ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Cook them all, and then this is a trick from my mother. This goes in the freezer and it's marked liver and onions. Because if you have a child that can use an oven like she did, yeah. we would ransack all her hors d'oeuvres and cookies and pre-made dessert. So mark them liver and onions, tuck them away, you can pull those out and heat them up. And your teens are never gonna touch them because <laughs> it says liver and onions, okay. Next, charcuterie is always great because meat and cheese keep forever. So have yeah. that tucked in, have a don't touch on it. You can have some great preserves. And you may notice like a lot of fresh produce is great for decor, but you can also slice those apples and dip them in chocolate. Really simple. Yeah, that's true. Make it easy. Exactly. Another one is, you know, pick up a pumpkin pie. Popcorn stations. If you have shakers in your cupboard, the popcorn flavored shakers. Oh, these ones, yeah. That's great for kids. Just have the individual bags and they can have them ready to go. Right. And a lot of us have microwave popcorn at home anyways. It's it's the little thing like doing the individual bags that make you look like Martha Stewart. Right? It's all those whimsical touches. It's yeah. all those things that say I care. Next for cocktails, do a DIY bar. White wine, red wine, a few beers. I brought some harvest ones in. Yeah. Next, another one of my new favorite products. This is if you see those little blue containers. These little there, ones. This this is Nesfruta, and this is great because you can have a water bar for people who aren't drinking. Yeah. That's a real fruit water enhancer, so you just put a couple drops in. It tastes amazing, but what's fun is that you can also use that as mix. Okay. So instead of having big containers of mix just on hand around the house, you can mix that with vodka for a great cocktail. You can make sangria oh. with it. You can actually just drop a little bit in Prosecco. 
So, so that's use why I love that. cocktails. Exactly. It's my mini water bar and mini cocktail bar. And you right. just set it out. People serve themselves. Okay, very nice. Now, you also have this here, which I just think is the cutest thing. Well, to finish off, we need some entertaining. Right. So, go to the kids' room. Grab their record player. Pull out your old records. Because then people will start looking at them, passing around, choosing songs, reminiscing. And it all of a sudden becomes an entertaining feature. Yes. And another fun one, too, is I like to keep little gag things on hand in a little box. Yeah. So, you can have dress up. Do your little <laughs> mustache there. Nice stash, Jeanette. And then for the fall, you can go out to your garden shed, pull a bucket, fill it with water, and fill it with apples. Yeah. I mean, that is not that hard to do. We all have that stuff. And then you can just go apple bobbing. Bobbing for apples, very fun. Big thanks to Urban Barm for this amazing yes. um, furniture. It doesn't have to be fussy. It can be really easy. I'm going in. Yeah, bob away. With I've never mustache. done this before. Let's see it. <laughs> and she <laughs> does not get